many users were curious about how the signal light on their remote works. Therefore, we will explain how the LED signal light works and what affects it in this video. There are four factors that determine how the LEDs respond to the signal and they are frequency, waveform, offset and amplitude. First, let's look at frequency. This is a 1 Hz square wave. It completes one positive to negative cycle every second. A. The signal is positive for half a second, so the left LED light is on for half a second. B. Signal immediately drops from zero to negative. C. Signal is negative for half a second, so the right LED light is on for half a second. The LED lights turn on and off very slowly and should never be on at the same time. Now, here's a 50 Hz square wave. It completes 50 positive to negative cycles every second. Count the peaks. There are 50. With this frequency, the entire ABC cycle described above is running at 50 times every second. This means that for every one of these 50 cycles, the signal is positive for one hundredth of a second. So the left LED is on for one hundredth of a second. The signal then changes to negative for one hundredth of a second. So the right LED is on for one hundredth of a second. Now, each LED signal light will appear to be on constantly at equal brightness. However, just as explained before, it is not possible for both LED lights to be on at the same time. You might think both lights are on at the same time, but actually what you're seeing is an illusion that's caused by the limits of the human eye. With high megahertz frequencies, the cycle switches from positive to negative in a speed too fast for LED lights to switch on fully before it receives a signal to switch off again. Therefore, in these situations, LED signal is showing a very dim light and may even appear to be turned off completely. The frequencies of MW, BP and DNA database are very high that generally no lights are on when you run them with Spooky 2 Remote. This doesn't mean that Spooky 2, the generator, or the remote is not working properly. It is only because the current LED light switching technology isn't fast enough to keep up with the speed of the extremely fast signal. Therefore, please do not worry if this happens to your Spooky 2 products. Apart from the effect of high frequencies, there is another scenario that the LED signal lights can appear to be very dim or even off. Every time a LED light turns on, it uses a tiny fraction of the frequency motive power, which is the amplitude, also known as voltage. When amplitude are above 5 volts, you won't see any differences in the luminescence of the LED lights. However, if you set your amplitude lower than 5, the voltage that is available to turn on the LED lights decreases, and the result is that they will appear to be dim. At very low amplitudes, the LED signal lights will be so dim that we can barely see. For example, we run a 40 kHz with 20 volt amplitude. The LED light is bright. If we change the amplitude to 5 volts, the LED light is dim. If we set the amplitude to 1 volt, 
there is no LED light showing. Please do not worry if this happens to your Spooky 2 products. In fact, it is a good sign indicating all of the frequency voltage are being used for the healing process. Waveform will affect the LED lights too. If you choose square wave and run 5.8 Hz, the light will blink. If we change waveform to the square H bomb, the LED lights will be flashing with short breaks in between. Another factor is offset. This is the imbalance between positive and negative peaks in reference to neutral or zero. Offsetting the signal from zero, neutral, means moving the waveform into the positive or negative region. In this case, if we set to 100%, the signal will not go to the negative region. If we set to negative 100%, the signal will not go to the positive region. Therefore, only one remote signal LED light will be on. Thank you for watching this video.